tired of hearing that song. That's Justin Bieber, of course, one of the most popular people on the planet right now. And we have someone who knows him better than anybody else. Girlfriend's changed his diapers. His mama, Patty Mollett, is here. She wrote a book about her life, and it's called Nowhere But Up, the story of Justin Bieber's mom. We've been wanting to hear from you, Patty, for a long time now. Thank Thanks so you. much for writing this and chatting with us today. Okay, you share a lot about uh, yourself in your book and what you've been through. What kind of obstacles have you had to encounter? Well, starting from a young age, you know, my parents split, as, you know, a lot of parents do, and, and um, my dad abandoned us, moved, you know, 10 hours away, and then started getting sexually abused from the time I was five up until I was about 10 years old, and there was multiple abusers, and then, mm. you know, had really unhealthy relationships, and, and, um, and uh, ended up getting into drugs and alcohol into teen mm. years and uh, had an attempted suicide at 17. It's hard to believe that somebody, I mean, just as beautiful as you, you've got Justin Bieber as your son, that you would even think about something as awful as suicide, that you've been through so much, though. Yeah. But you're really helping a lot of people, I would imagine. Yeah, I hope this. so. Yeah, that's why I wrote this book, is just to, to help others um, get through similar things that I've been through. For the people who are watching, and the moms especially, who are saying, I've been through what you've been through, mm -hmm. I identify with that, what, what advice would you give to them? Um, I would just say, you know, talk to somebody and, um, and don't give up. Like, it, there's hope. You don't have to stay in that dark place. Now, you had another name. Let's talk about Justin here. Picked out for him before he was born. I just had a baby, so I'm all excited about the little baby details. What, what name did you have for him? You know, I called him Jesse my whole pregnancy. And, uh, and then when he was born, I was like, you know what? He does not look like a Jesse. <laughs> call him Justin. Oh, yeah. Justin beautiful. Means... Look at these pictures. Okay, we've never seen these before. These are exciting. Thanks for sharing these with us. Yeah. Now, you made a promise to Justin about dating. What was that? And why did you make it to him? Um, when we moved to Atlanta, uh -huh. um, when he started uh, pursuing his music career about five years ago, um, I said, you know what, I'm going to wait until you're 18 to start dating again so I can just focus on you. And, and he was really happy about that. So now that he's 18, um, it's, yeah, it's time to start dating. What do you think of his girlfriend, Selena Gomez? I love her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. I really like her. They make a beautiful couple, that's for they sure. Do. Now, you've never been married yourself, right? Are you dating now yourself? Because um, you're a gorgeous woman. Yeah. And I'm sure he meets some people. Do there. Is anybody ever good enough? <laughs> he's going to be, you know, he's going to be really choosy and, and um, protective of mama. Mm hmm So is there anybody special? I'm, you know, I'm dating. I yeah. don't know. It's nothing too serious. Yeah. So. Now, uh, talk about the proceeds of your book, where, where that's all going. Um, uh, the proceeds are going to my foundation that I'm in the works of, of um, putting together. It's called Nowhere But Up Foundation. And it's going towards um, different things that I've been through, such as single parent homes, financial help, counseling, fin uh, finances, um, and, uh, you know, drug and alcohol abuse, things like that. When you have a son who is a superstar, you've got to think about security and safety. I mean, you've got so many people who want to, you know, see him, be him, marry him, but you also got the crazies out there. Do you worry about his safety? Of course. I mean, I think every mom worries about their kids. So, um, but he's got really good security guards and, and um, a great team around him that, you know, try to keep him out of dangerous situations. Um, yeah, of course I worry. I'm a, I'm a mama. Yeah. yeah. What do you have to do that's different than, say, the typical mom at home? Well, I mean, now that he's 18, I kind of, it's, it's time for me to let go a little. But when he was younger, you know, I couldn't ground him. If it, You're not going to your concert tonight. I mean, <laughs> I just get creative, take away phones and computers and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And how does he respond to that? Does he like, Mom, I'm, I'm Justin Bieber. You can't oh, do that. <laughs> no. No. He would come home after a, a tour and I would say, honey, the garbage needs taken out. Mom. Go take out the garbage. He sounds like he a one. He sounds like a real respectable, just young boy. What's he been like as a child for you? Oh, he he's such a different kid than I was. I was really um, wild and crazy, and mm -hmm. and um, he's he's a good kid, and he makes a lot of good decisions, and um, hopefully he keeps making them. Yeah, we yeah, hope so. What about all the stuff that people write? Is that something that you listen to or you read? I would be like reading it, wanting to, to say, honey, watch out. This is in the, in the tabloids about you. No. You got to say something about that. You kind of got to get thick skin, you mm -hmm. know, when you're in this industry and you can't believe 
most of what right. you Right, a lot need. of it's made up, isn't yeah. it? It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's tough, but you know, he's uh, he's held his head high and, and handled some situations really well. He definitely has. Mm -hmm. What advice have you been able to give him for the show, for show business? I just say, remember where you came from mm -hmm. and, um, and stay grounded and humble and that, you know, just because you're given a gift doesn't mean you're, you know, more important than anybody else or more valuable than anybody else. And so I just want him to stay on that, that, um, that level. Yeah, it's nice to hear that you, he has a mom that's so down to earth. Thank You're a real you. sweetheart. Um, is there anything for, for other people who want to get in the business, I'm sure you get this question all the time, but what would you say to parents who are watching your son and think, I want my son to be big like Justin Bieber? I say, run. <laughs> and they want their no. kid to get into show business. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I tried running the other way, so I don't know if mm -hmm. I'd be the, the best advice giver, um, but I, I'd say surround who you surround your child with is the most important thing you know mm -hmm. management and um, you know all the whole team and it, it's who's gonna influence them who, who whoever you would want as friends in their life is who you would want to put around them and people that are gonna help them make good choices well, Patty Mollette yeah. thank you so much appreciate you coming on and talking about your son and, and your you. book excited to share that with everybody else so they can read it as well thank you